Um, so uh, today we will be playing some um, Batman the Tales series. So I've never tried playing this game before. Um, so this is my first time playing this game, and uh, this game is I did not buy this game. I um, actually got it for free for the PlayStation Plus members. So of course, as you guys know, PlayStation Plus have have a lot of features. Number one, which is got which. One of it is um, free games for you every month, I think. So this game is one of included in the included in the January um, series, like in January for this month. So yeah, there's like three games which for free for now. So you guys can watch that. Um, you guys can go ahead and like hear them and like you know you can, you can try out for this. All right, so they will be playing some Batman the Tattoo series. So um, let's just try to play this game. So we're just trying to connect the checking for DLCs. Okay. <clears throat> I just um installed this game for like yesterday, I think. Alright, so now we're maybe we're gonna start the game right now. Oh it's a bit hot though. Oh, get a full experience. Um uh, win but not now. So this is the Batman game over here, so... <laughs> wow. So this is Brain. So let's just see the settings. Audio, video. Display subtitles. Medium. Large. I think medium will do. I think this is okay. Gameplay. Yeah, I think this will be good. Wow, what's this? Like a video or something. What's this? Oh, wow, this is a Batman mask. Oh. So it's pretty one of the videos that you can see there. Let's see the extras. Wow. Alright. So I've never tried playing this game before, so I think this would be really good. So um <clears throat> so guys please do subscribe and uh you know turn on notifications so you guys won't miss any live stream. So let's just play of episodes. Alright, so uh this is Season pass, so we got episode two, episode three, episode four, and the five. Yeah. So we also have the Wolf Among Us, two. So um. All right. So this is a season pass. So it's I I think this move uh game is only at five episodes. So, yeah. Alright, let's just start our, um... Alright, it is good. Uh, I think this is good. So, of course, our bad tech color should be blue, because, you know, everything's supposed to be blue. Wait, yeah, dude. Let's just start. Pretty sure this game will be amazing. Can't wait to try it out, man. Oh my god. And I can't, I'm shocked that this game was one of the PlayStation Plus, um, one of the f exclusive games that you can get for free. So I'm pretty shocked too. Because I've always wanted to play this game, although I got played uh, Batman Arkham Knight, which that game is also amazing. You guys should try it out. If you guys are a huge Batman fan, I recommend that game a lot. Even though I didn't play for most of the previous Batman games like Arkham Asylum, Arkham Origins, and you know, all these games I never played before because I don't have PS3 at that time. So, that was why. Okay, so what is this? I'm gonna start. So, uh, we're in Gotham right now. There's the Rain Enterprises, I think. Hmm. Wow. What are you? Oh.
Oh shit. Break in. I think it's like a bank robbery. Cross the line, I knew it. On it. Hey, you think he's gonna show? Bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. Hmm. Well, Batman always know all the things, so. <laughs> Oh, this Jim Gordon. Wow. Oh. Alright, that's Batman. One of the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying him. Wow, there's Batman. All right, so we're gonna do it. Wow. Oh shit. Can you see it's Batman? Surprise, motherfucker. Oh, it's Batman, bitch. Oh. Oh, Bruce, what's... you can't keep doing this. That's how for it. No one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed. The city is safer now. It's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs until you're shot out of the sky. I can edit it. Shit! The hell he go? Whatever got in, don't let it get out. It's pretty intense, to be honest. What Wow. Back to back, circle up. Ninja bitch. Seriously? <laughs> Hell is this? It's smoke. Still can't get it open. Wait, what? Wait, what? I know you're trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Come on! Come on! Come on! Ooh, 
bitch. <laughs> Intense, man. This cat woman. Behind you, big boy. Hey, Batman, boys. You're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you. So are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. Without a scratch. So far. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. Gotham needs a hero. Someone to hunt down people like you. So that makes me, what, a villain? Sounds fun. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. <laughs> Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. And let's put you in a cage. What does Batman sounds like? That. So easy. Ha, bitch. Two of them now? Jesus! Got it! Wait, wait, wait! Do 
not shoot! Do this. Oh my god. Slow motion. Alright guys, you guys are watching now. Welcome back to the stream, guys. Welcome to the stream. Shit. A myth can't be killed. You, however, to be honest, this game is pretty good. Oh. God damn it! I said don't shoot! No! Wait! Oh no. Alama. Oh no, did I not save her? Oh. Wow, that was close. about you catching me not sure if it was for my sake or yours don't struggle or you'll fall oh but that's what you crave the struggle i know men like you not hey. bad <laughs> 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 oh, she's gone Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Well then. Time to save the city. Wow. That was uh, pretty good episode for the first episode for the game that's pretty good thank you <laughs> thank you everyone a humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement even one who cut gotham's crime rate in half and that harvey dent for too long this city has burned with corruption and greed under mayor hill's authority but i promise you a vote for harvey dent is a vote to finally put your foot down and together we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. <laughs> well, I tee him up and he knocks him down. That's how Mr. Wayne and I do business. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. <laughs> Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. 
Relax, it was important. Not more than this. I know you despise these things, and truth be told, I do too. What, a chance to show off your teeth and talk about yourself to a room full of money? Say it ain't so. It's called playing the game, Bruce. And tonight, if you hadn't noticed, I'm playing for City Hall. No one came here tonight to see me. Some champagne. They want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with your mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. So just put on your billionaire smile and don't punch anyone. I'll do anything for Gotham. It's my home. It's our home. <laughs> This'll help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Which, for the record, I have not been since before law school. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. How about, uh, our hope is in Harvey. Look at you. That's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime. Where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands. Hmm? Come on. <laughs> well, Bruce and Harvey then, they, have, they have, have pretty good friendship, actually. <laughs> well, we of course know in the end, Harvey then become two face, so. Yeah, we'll see about this game. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. Well, thank you. But we're all here tonight because we want to make a difference. And that's what it's going to take. Every single one of us. Not just me, not just Mr. Dent. Everyone. Right, right. Of course. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Uh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that cape bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. <laughs> oh, Bobby, regarding golden age, it seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. <laughs> well, I have to say I side with your wife on this, Mr. Zellerbach. Even a spark of hope can light the darkness. Oh, an idealist with a bank account. He'll be broke before election day. <laughs> And I know Bruce would gladly spend every penny he has to fix this city. I don't doubt that for a moment. Now, don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, We're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. Wow. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible, truly terrible. Uh, and tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. <laughs> and I'm sure you don't either. Well, thank you. I wish my parents could be here speaking with you too. And thank you, Bruce, for investing in the health of this city's future. You have our support, Mr. Dent. Go get him. We're on our way. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. 
It is a night of ringing endorsements. <laughs> oh, well, hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time either. Actually, I do mind. If you're not on the list, you're not here. Sorry. <sighs> we'll talk tomorrow, then. Mr. Wayne, you've... you've got something on your collar. Um... is that blood? Yeah... it looks like... Oh, this? No, it's nothing. It just, uh... cut myself shaving. What, your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding. Kidding. Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but, uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmen oh, who's this? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham, for all of us. But at least to hear him out before you kick him out? Falcone requested to speak with you directly. Maybe he can change your mind. I don't like this, Harv, but I'm trusting you. Thank you, Bruce. Seriously. You know I have to pull every string I can to get elected. Yeah, well, just make sure this one doesn't hang you. A word of warning, Bruce? Play nice. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. <laughs> Man, all flash, no class. Let's talk privately, shall we? Hey, <laughs> I like this guy. Ready to do business before we even introduce ourselves. But we'll get to that. Come on, Falcone. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. You're a respectable man. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. You should know, Mr. Falcone, my analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. Hey, what's... Private audience. Oh, come on, guys. Bruce. You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Have a drink, have a talk. Harvey stays with us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. Whatever you... Ah, ah, what did I say? Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But, in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. The man talks too much, chaps my face with words. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. Might 
Lighten the load if we do so together. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat, or I can pull it out from under him. Whatever happens to being a gracious host. Okay, imagine, this is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move, and I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Now, we got a good thing going, so I don't see why we shouldn't team up. For Gotham, for our city. Look, I'm only talking to you because Harvey asked, trusting a friend to know what's best for Gotham. Now that's a predicament. You listen to me, kid. I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. It's the break. Don't you dare talk about my father. You're getting worked up over nothing. <laughs> Hell, I knew him longer than you did. People don't say no to me. Not for long. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. Oh shit, there's gonna be trouble. Wow. Amazing. Mm, that's a bad mobile. What? This is episode one. I think that in that the intro, like a prologue or something. I don't know. She was really after him. Oh, finally we can.
Okay, what's this? What's this cow do? Holographic lenses, voice modulation. Wayne Enterprises really outdid themselves with this version. Okay, this is the garden feet. The garden feet. Oh, what's this? The bat suit. The suit absorbed most of the damage from that gunshot. I've got to protect my back. Even from the police. What's this? The movie ticket. I think the movie ticket is when his parents like came out after watching the movie and then they got murdered. I think, which I'm not really sure. Right, we don't want to read that though. Is it done? So we have to retrieve the data drive. That's a gadget stable. Where's the data drive? Assist. A library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here, in a dark, damp cave, in front of a computer. I'm more at home here than the rest of the house, you know that. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. Sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave dweller. Quite an eclectic resume. Did you find out what that um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. Ooh. Nothing here. This is a map of the east side shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs. Everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. 
And in the meantime, I saved you what I could. Thanks, so. Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left. Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat. I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. Yeah. Thanks for the interruption. <laughs> and it wasn't for you, Bruce. I was worried I might drink all my good scotch. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone. Thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this cat woman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've seen her before. Hopefully she's just a tourist. I'll check the codex. Oh, the codex. Founder. Okay. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break ins. Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. That's not the point. I want criminals to know I'm out there. Batman isn't hiding from anybody. I was talking about Bruce. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. I have a job to do, okay? A responsibility to this city. You know why I do this. For the car, I presume. Well, the car helps. Oh, yes. You drive that thing like a bat out of hell. Ah. <sighs> Old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Discharge illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stents? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. You think he's looking for a handout? He would have come to the right person. No, because I'm... Because you're generous. A little too much sometimes, with your wealth, your time, and even your well-being. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. Hmm. So this is a couple pot park.
what's this guy over here? Homeless person. Seven. Alright guys, so this is the end of this stream guys. I will stream the next episode soon. Bye bye.